and welcome. For the love of poutine, this is what you've been waiting for. Our ingredients are ready and poised, and our potatoes are going to slowly be assembled. And this is where we're starting. Your basics. Just some water, some salt. Take a look at it. It's about a third of the way through. And our thick cut base of our potatoes are going to be bathed in this boiling water and brought to their natural, tender, yet firm see them all being joined in, all being just slightly covered, getting bathed in that hot salt water. Mm. I know potatoes may not have, you may not find potatoes having a scent, but they do. And oh, their taste, mixing them, making sure every single inch is covered and getting bathed and swatched and boiled because mm. the texture in our assembled product is going to be amazing. Oh yes, look at them. Nice, thick, cut, fresh, and ready for the next step. Okay, and here they're gonna cool now. Now we move on to gravy. Now, part of the step is making our sauce or our gravy. And look at that. Slowly peel, strip down that onion taking it down to its raw form, ready to join and come through. You can almost smell the rich textures coming through as we start to peel it back, every layer, and then slicing it, making a few little inroads. creating a different texture, almost dicing it as we slice through it, bit by bit by bit, getting it assembled and ready. Yes, toss all of them in there. Hear that sizzle. Oh, fresh butter on a hot pan. You can smell that butter just melting and then tossing in the lovely onions and hearing it hit. Mm, combination of butter and onions, washing them slowly, saute. getting into that light, light brown, releasing their juices. And then coming in, we're going to be adding a little bit of flour to get it going, to make it form the base of the gravy that will be coming up as it's stirring. Mm, you can just see it getting golden brown. And then we pour in your basic chicken stock, and you can have vegetable stock if you're more of a vegetarian nature, and having that just sizzle in the pan, and then adding a little more in, just to give it a little more oomph and, and color, stirring it, emulsifying all of the ingredients, getting them to 
merge together. You can just imagine the aromas coming up from that pan as it's being whisked, as everything starts to explode and merge and attach to each other. Mm, that's the type of gravy that can go not only for poutine, but on any meal. Three, four simple basic ingredients. And then when you add a little more in, the Worcestershire sauce not only adds color, but it adds that little extra spice to it. Look at how golden brown it is. And then if you'd like to sweeten to taste, even just your basic ingredients of ketchup, a couple of spoonfuls, you add that in. Look at how that whisk just takes it all throughout the pan, just bringing it to life. Look at how the color is changing, how it's bubbling. Mm. Oh, I can just imagine. And then some more poultry seasoning, just taking it to the next level. Simple ingredients, just adding them in can make a major difference in your taste buds, experiencing what's going to be happening later with sheer anticipation. Mm. And then to add that, oh, so nice, a little bit of creaminess, that whipping cream, it's just going to mm, thicken and bring everybody together into one. Look at how it's being stirred, whisked. It's almost like forcing a little, not even forcing, but introducing a little extra <clears throat> to the gravy that's going to be done. And the piece de resistance, when we strain it, giving it that smooth, creamy texture just filtering out all of the chunks and so forth and just allowing it to just amalgamate. Oh, I can't wait. I'm just anticipating this gravy just being poured. Mmm. A little extra seasoning of pepper. A little stirring. Just keeping it at that perfect heat keeping it at that perfect texture. Look at how nice and creamy it is. Look at the color. Always taste to see if you need a little extra more. And always do it to your own personal taste. Now, just keeping that on a nice heat. And then, don't forget the base. A lovely, thick cut fries. Mm -hmm. You can see them. You could hear that sizzle of Christmas. You know it's fresh. You can see them slowly browning, getting to that golden hue. And you can smell our basic lowly potato just taking on a different type of transformation. Look at how golden brown they are. They're just Mm. They are just waiting to be taken to the next level. Look at how they just are still firm, so thick, cut, and golden brown, just waiting for the assembly. It's always good to have a good, strong base in a poutine, especially at this momentous level where we're almost to the end. A little bit of salt. Mm. Just brings out that little extra. And now, our masterpiece. We have our thick cut potatoes, boiled, deep fried to perfection, mixing it in with our lovely cheese curds that are also firm, creamy, and has our own little twist of flavor on it. Mmm. 
my mouth is just watering, waiting for, oh, that gravy to get poured on it. Hurry it up. You can hear the cheese. You can see it. And now, mmm. Got sauce. You just pour and drizzle all over it. Watch it as it caresses each of the cheese curds, slowly letting them melt just a little bit, just a little bit, because you want that texture of the cheese curd. It's the slight melt for the flavor. That is good. And have it all seep down into those thick, cut gold and potatoes at the bottom. Mm. And now the tasting. Oh yeah. Let's give her a shot. Go down. Get one of those golden bases. Mm. Get that gravy. Mm. You can just imagine that slight explosion mm. of gravy. The texture of the That's cheese good. curd just slightly melted. Mm. Poutine. <laughs> 